love you all right okay fair enough but i am not dealing with a bunch of schoolboys. i am dealing with grown oh, men pretty, pretty much set in their ways wait. which means tact and diplomacy and all the rest of the excuses because i'm sorry darling they are excuses the same excuses you've been using for the past two years well, things have changed, haven't they? We have a new ground, and a new ground means new responsibilities. Shared responsibilities. Which is why, which is why, if you care to cast your eyes over this, you will read something very much germane to the subject under discussion. You've made a roster. Correct. Why didn't you tell me instead of letting me moan on like that? Because, believe me, I am fully aware of the load you and I have to carry. And it has got to change, Miriam. It's got to change. Evening, ma'am. Evening, Rog. Kevin. Kevin. Got a surprise for you. Well, close your eyes, then. You sure you haven't looked? That's Positive. Promise. Promise. Right, you can open them now, then. Ta da From Kevin Mee to the club. Where did it come from? Mate of mine found it on a dump. Madame has been doing it up all winter. What do you think, Rog? I think it's... Wonderful. So... Artistic. Artistic, yes. This gypsy comes around the house selling pegs and ends up giving her art lesson. Got carried away. No. Oh, it's super, and exactly what we were saying we wish we had, isn't it, Rog? Exactly, yes. Does it work? Does it work, Rog? Rog, this dozy great lump is known as the Queen of the Tappets. Not only does it work, it purrs like a rose. So who can have christen it, then? Miriam. <laughs> You're right, the captain's lady. Uh. I'll be getting him. Come along, chop, chop. Oh, please don't chop, chop me, Roger. What do you mean? The engine. Like a rolls, eh, Kev? Chop, 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 chop. Oh, you. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> Speech! I would just like to say... Miriam. Miriam. A bit of quiet for the captain's lady, please. <laughs> um, I named this more Roger's Rotos. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Fantastic, Rog. Terrific. Can I have a go, Roger? Miriam, please. You're only a little woman. Beside a little woman, instead of you, you great lump. She lied to me, you know. Told me she was a man of property. Oh, don't you talk nice. <laughs> <laughs> Miriam? Yes, darling? Stop working. I can see that, darling. What exactly would you like me to do about it? Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> There's no petrol. Well, where is it then? I'll kill her, I will. I'll kill her. You haven't got the keys, you silly little twat. Can I have a go, though, Rog? Miriam, love you, all right, okay, fair enough, but this is not a toy. <laughs> it's empty. I know it's empty. Well, why didn't you say? Because you didn't give me the chance, did you, Mr Sharp? Right. Go and fill it up. Say please. Please. You go and fill it up. I've got to fix the plumbing. <sighs> Miriam! Yes, darling? There's a cow on my wicket. So there is. Well, do something, woman. Like what, Roger? Well, I don't know, do I? You were a Boy Scout, weren't you? Use your initiative. I know. I'll milk it. One pint or two. Two! Miriam! All done. You haven't made it work. Give it a try. What do you mean? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's super, Maggie. So Right, girl. <laughs> what next? <laughs> Who 
You all right, Roberto, old son? I'm fine. How are you? Far be it from me, old son, but you look as if you could do with a good night's sleep. Is that right? Sprog keeping you awake, is he? Sprog? Sprog? Still, if you will do these things. What I really admire about you, Dennis, with all your problems, and let's face it, you do have problems, you still find time to offer a quiet word of encouragement to those less fortunate. Yourself, are we? Well, you know what they say then. You make a nicer class of person. Oh, my mum says you're a silly little twerp with a shocking bad temper. But I think you're fantastic, especially from behind. Yeah, well. I'll... It's a kiss, then. Mm. Mm. Here he am. Yes, darling? What are you singing? What's it? Maggie? I think she's going to have a word with Kevin. Kevin? Where's Kevin? Do you mind, Dennis? That is not a toy! You're not busy at the moment, are you, Nigel? Well, uh, jolly good. See if you can find her thingy. What's it, um, uh, Maggie for me? She's with Kev. Super. Oh. Hello. Sorry about that. Sorry about what? Oh, hello. I made him jump, didn't I? Made you jump. No, that's all right. I was, um, I'm looking for Mr. Dervish. You're looking for Rog? The captain of the, um... Rog. Roger. You'll be over by the pavilion somewhere. Look for someone holding a bit of paper and pointing. Um, yes, I, I've already... Um... Thank you. wonder if he's a new member. Yeah, it is so. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Skip. I can't find them anywhere. Who? Well, Kevin and Maggie. Well, where are they? Well, sorry, Skip. I've looked everywhere. It's just aim it. That cow's back. You're good with animals, aren't you, Nigel? Pop across and get rid of it. There's a good chap. Miriam! <laughs> Mr. Dervish? Yes? Um, we spoke last week. Clive. Clive? Oh, Clive! Of course it is. Welcome to Brent Park, CC. You did say to come along when you were having nets. Of course I did, of course I did. Come and meet some of the chaps. Hello, Flicker. Come on in. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Of course not. Just, you know, would you like a cup of tea or something? <laughs> Thank you, no. I, I don't drink tea. Well, I do, but not after six o'clock. Touch of the, um... Oh, I see. It happens to one man in three, you know. Does it really? Once you're past 50. Well, I never... <laughs> anyway, um... Miriam? Miriam is, of course. Miriam, just thought I'd pop across, see how you are, see if, um, th there's anything I can do. Oh, thanks ever so much, Vicar, but, uh, uh, um... John. John? But we're fine, we really are. Just, you know, settling in, getting organised. <laughs> I can't tell you how thrilled I am to see the old ground open again. Oh, that's really nice of you. Who knows, I might even get a game. Oh, you play, do you? What well, did? 
<laughs> anyway, if your husband ever finds himself short... Oh, he often finds himself short. When he's not finding himself oversubscribed, it's usually one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. Rounding up the flock, is it? Not our flock, it isn't. <laughs> well, then, who knows? Who knows? Is, is he here, by the way? Super. Super. Played a lot of you, Clive. Well, you know. What, schoolboy stuff? Mostly, yes. Schoolboy stuff? What's wrong with schoolboy stuff? Well, no, I'm just saying. Why would you think I'm good with animals? What are you, a, uh, a batter or a bowler? I'm batsman. Usually going about number three. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh, yes! Love the game, love it. In fact, you could say it's almost a religion with me. <laughs> anyway, as I said to, um... Your wife. Miriam. Miriam, as I said to Miriam, if you'd bear me in mind. Well, I most certainly will bear you in mind. Why, oh, are you a batsman or bowler? More of a batter, really. Super. Super. There you are, you see, team! New members clambering over the gates from every conceivable direction. <laughs> You're a genius! You are, you're a genius! <laughs> Tell you what, I'm really pleased with that mower. Oh, you made me feel quite ashamed. Oh, yeah? There's me complaining about people not showing any interest, and you go and do a lovely thing like that. You don't even like cricket. I like you, though. I love him. The little twerp. So, that's no Iqbal, no Bernard, and no Warren. Shame. Precisely, Kev, precisely. Now, look here, is this going to take all night? I am expecting a phone call. Fiancé phoning from Frankfurt. <laughs> Their absence, if I might say, is typical. Excuse me, Skip. Yes, Dennis? I did say Warren wouldn't be here because of his veruca. Yes, I believe you did, Dennis. Um, uh, thank you. Get on with it. The point I am making is... Excuse me, Skip. Yes, Kev? I thought it was a compound fracture of the lower fibula. What was? Warren. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, Virginia! Don't ah, oh, Virginia me. Where is he? Hello, darling. How can I help you? I want to talk to you, darling. Now, do we do it in private or in front of your playmates? You were saying, Skip? Was I? Oh, yes. Um, uh, vis a vis the, um, uh, the thing of me, the, uh, uh, the what's it? The, uh, the, the lack of response to my constant request for assistance. In fact, the only regular contributors have been Kevin and, um, um, uh, his wife, which is a lot more than can be said for those my natural tact and diplomacy does not permit me to name, but suffice to say, the rest of you. All right. All right. Um, just, um, um, just a bit of a, you know. Forgot to wash out the nappies, did you? Ha, ha, bloody ha. Don't get so aerated, old boy. Don't get so aerated. Oh, for God's sake, get on with it. Yes, do you mind? Now then. Excuse me, Skip. Yes, Nigel? Why did you think I was good with animals? Sorry. <laughs> Right. There you go. Just like a rose. <laughs> right. Off you go. Shall I? Miriam. Well, I better not do any cutting, though. I'll just drive it around till you get the hang of it. Oh, and don't open the throttle too wide. It sometimes gets stuck. Go on. Off you go. What are you trying to say? What I am trying to say is this. For two years, we have been nurtured by the council. They have mowed our grass, repaired our pavilion, etc., etc. But now, 
Now we stand alone. Yes, Kip. Point of information, Skip. Chaos is the law of nature. Order is the dream of man. Or woman. Here, here. Excuse me. Uh, uh, yes, Alex. I thought we were here for nets. Quite right, Alex. I said nets, and you made an assumption. What assumption was that, Skip? You assume that when I said nets, I meant net practice. Seems perfectly reasonable to me. But I didn't say net practice. I said nets, and where are they? What? The nets. Point them out to me. You can't, can you? And why is that? Because they're not there. Out of the mouths of babes and... Uh, what's it? Because they are not there. And why are they not there? Because certain of you, who promised to be here last Wednesday to help me put them up, didn't appear. Did not appear. Similarly with the catching cradle. What about the rotten catching cradle? A working party was set up to bring it out, give it a bit of clean-up, uh, etc., so that we could put it to good use. That working party did not materialise. Shame. Now then, I shan't name names. Go on, Skip, name names. What you are saying, Kev, is shame the offenders. That's right, Skip. The way they put up the names of bad debtors outside shops. They don't where I live. Do they where you live, Alex? <laughs> they don't have shops where I live, thank you very much. All those in favour of the skipper naming names. lovely Miriam vis-a-vis -vis the captain's wife and I'll tell you this Clive you don't know what an egg mayonnaise sandwich is until you've tasted one of hers and I say that as the head of a department who dines annually at the top table. All right team let's get started all please. You're not joining in then Alex? Uh, no I'm not. And why is that? Two reasons. One, I don't need to practice. And two, even if I did, I can't see the point of practicing our catching when our so-called bowlers don't offer us anything to catch.
messed up all your beautiful painting. Yeah, but you didn't though, did you? And besides, it's my fault. I knew that throttle was playing up. See you on Saturday, will I? Oh, I don't know. My sister said she might be coming over. Oh. Mind you, could always bring her. Turn her loose on Dennis. <laughs> actually give them a list of duties. Not in so many words, no. I think they are now fully cognizant of their responsibilities. I don't think most of them are fully cognizant of anything. Miriam, people who drive mowers into ditches shouldn't throw stones. Roger, you promised. Love you, OK, fair enough. <laughs> anyway, he seems a very nice young man, Clive. Mm, and the first of what I hope will be a torrent of new blood. What did the vicar say to you? Mm -hmm. Oh, the vicar. He said to keep our eyes open for vandals. Oh. Apparently there's been an outbreak of vandalism. You did look up, didn't you, Mim? No, darling, you did. Didn't you? the magistrate and get sentenced to a month in the Bahamas. No, Mim. This time we seek our own justice. Sorry, Mim. I've been thrown out. 